you run a set on respect. You know, you hire the people you hire because they're great at what they do. And so I signed on and actually I was not involved with the pitches. A script was written and it wasn't quite what it needed to be. And so he left and Carrie Aaron came on. Well, the major change was Me Too happened. And Me Too wasn't a part of the morning show when it was developed. We all wanted to incorporate it. She incorporated it into this modern day world of cutthroat politics and at the center these two incredibly powerful women coming from very different backgrounds. So it was quite an interesting collaboration with Carrie Aaron, who's a great writer, Jen Aniston, Reese Witherspoon, myself, all female executive producers and one male executive producer, Michael Ellenberg. And it's been really exciting. It's been very unusual. Like we have casting sessions. Vicki Thomas is our casting director and she is absolutely brilliant. I do watch casting on tape and then I like callbacks in person and I like to work the actors and, and people would walk into the room and it was just all women. It was just women. And they'd never seen that before. I mean, a lot of actors like, Oh my God, there's no men in here. And it, it was really, that was fun. These shows, you know, they're very brightly lit. And so we wanted to emulate that. And then we wanted to give it a saturated look, you know, very colorful, lots of dark, lots of lights, people walking in and out of shadows, you know, because they have very messy lives, you know, these characters, you know, Aniston's character, Alex lives in a glass house. We wanted it to all be glass and like she was in this like kind of prison of her own making. Bradley's still in a hotel room coming from West Virginia and you see where she comes from in, in the pilot. I decided, like, let's not have any rules. I wanted to shoot handheld, steady cam, long lens. I wanted it to, to look real. And what I did was I had an inspiration board. I picked, you know, films that I really love the look of. Control rooms, blue lights. You know, a lot of my shots that are on my inspiration board are these big close-ups of people. I wanted to shoot women as men are shot. Like, you can go in there and shoot a close-up on a man like this, and then have the city as part of the character of the frame. And I wanted to do that with women. And it's really interesting. If you look at my mood board, it looks like the show. It was fun. It was really fun creating the mood board. I still think it exists today. You know, you make a failure, you go to movie jail. It took me forever to, to even do the Antonio Banderas movie. And then, you know, I was being offered stuff, but lousy stuff. And who wants to make lousy stuff? So I started developing my own stuff. But, you know, a guy who has a failure, you know, a $250 million failure, you know, in terms of budget, we'll get, we'll still get three movies. And that's a fact. So I came on as a guest. You know, I work three cameras a lot, but I was, I was just doing a simple medium shot of Ann Dowd. And I said to the DP, I said, could you please, you know, give me a medium shot over there of her letting Amy Brenneman into the van. And he said, Mimi, in front of the crew, have you seen our show? And I went, yeah. And he goes, well, we have a style. And I went, uh, what are you saying? Are you saying I'm not qualified to direct? Because that's what he was saying. And I, and I, and I said it in front of everybody because he was saying it in front of everybody. And, and he goes, oh, no, I'm not saying that. I said, okay, could you give me a medium shot in the style of the show, please? And then we, we did the shot, we broke for lunch, and the two operators were mortified, and we were walking to lunch, and it was like they were lifting me on my show, you know, by my elbows, and they, we were walking in, and they were going, we are, you know, shocked, how dare he talk to you that way, you know, what an asshole, and they just went nuts, and Mimi will give you anything you want. You know that. And I was like, of course. You know? you know, then the guy apologized. And he said, I'm sorry, I was such an asshole. And, you know, I moved on because, and then I became the exec producer of the show. When I began, I always used to make shot lists. You know, you have your, your, your security blanket things you tick off. 
when you before you go to work and that's one of them for me and to this day i have to have a shot list i don't ever look at it but i have one you know and it's sort of a blueprint and i give it to my dp and my ad first ad and we just have this communication and so you always have to plan my first directing job was really in a comfort zone because i had worked with these actors before I had to wean my daughter. So it was a very um, interesting experience that most directors, unless you're a woman, have to go through because my breast engorged and I'm directing and my breasts are leaking. And, you know, it was, it was just really a challenging time. 